Hi, let's discuss another example which is related to the previous one. We want to solve the initial value problem y third derivative plus 3y second derivative minus 10y first derivative equals 0. With the initial condition y0 equals 7, y prime 0 equals zero y the prime zero equal to 70. to solve this equation we first work with this equation and then we solve the initial condition later okay. using the previous example we know that this equation has the general solution which is just right about, I mean this one. So y equals c1, c2e 2x plus c3e minus 3, 5x. Okay. So the general solution already found in the previous example. Now we need to solve the initial conditions. Now look at the first initial condition y0 equal to 7 then we plus c1 plus c2 e 2x that means e 2 times 0 and c3 e minus 5 times 0 and equals the right hand side is 7 that means just c1 plus c2 plus c3 equals 7 because this number is 1 this number also one. Okay. So we got one equation. Okay. Look at the second initial condition y prime zero equals zero. To use this condition we have to compute y prime. Okay. What is y prime? To compute y prime of course we have to use the formula of y over here. And to take the derivative of that function, we would get um, 2C2E2x plus minus 5 term C3I minus 5x. The first term is constant, so it's gone. We just need to compute the second two, this one and this one. And we just got these two terms. That means y prime just equals... 2c2 a2x minus 5c3 minus 5x and now we use the initial condition here y prime 0 equal to 0 which means that 2c2 a2 times 0 minus 5 a3 a minus 5 times 0 equals 0 which is c2 minus 5c3 equal to 0. Okay. That's the second equation we obtain. And the last one, y double prime 0 equals 7. To use this condition, we need to know what is y double prime. And it's nothing derivative of this y guy here. Taking the derivative of that one, we just got 4c2 e negative e 2x plus 25 e minus 5x okay. and now using the initial condition this one actually is 70 not 7 and then we would have 4 c2 e 2 0 plus 25 e minus 5 times 0 70 so that's mean 4 c2 plus 25 this is c3 c3 equals 70 this is the third equation so solving the third equation we would got three equation for c1 c2 c3 
we combine them together okay. into a system. So the first one, C1 plus C2 plus C3 equal 7. The second one is 2, C2 minus 5, C3 equal 2, 0. And the last one is 4, C2 plus 25, C3 equal to 70. So three equations will just give us this system. And now we can solve this linear system. Uh, if you have a calculator that can do it, just use it. Okay? And it just gives you C1, just 0. C2 is 5. And C3 is just 2. Okay? And now the final solution or the particular solution is just y equals so again this is the general solution and now we plug the values of c1 c2 c3 this one is zero this one is five and this one is two right and what we got is five a two x plus two a ninety five x. Okay, and this is the final solution.